Hi, my name is Dione and welcome to your Intermediate Yoga Flow. Grab yourself a mat and two books or blocks and remember to take the options that are relevant to your skill level. Now, if you haven't warmed up, I suggest you go down to the description and do a warm up for 10 minutes or so before you participate. And if you haven't subscribed yet and click the bell button, do so so you don't miss a thing. See you on the mat. Stepping onto the mat, roll the shoulders back. Moving to the end of your mat, make sure your block's nearby, taking your feet hip width apart, anchoring down through all corners of the feet, establishing a strong mountain pose. Modified Tadasana here with the feet hip width apart. Reaching high through the top of the head, standing tall, Working on our posture before we begin, energy through the fingertips, inhale, rise with the hands, bow down to the floor, inhale, half lift to the shins, and walk your hands out and lower your knees to the ground. Lower the body in one straight line to the floor all the way down. Inhale, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale down. A couple more of these warming up through the spine. Inhale and lift. Try and hold your body up there as you lift your hands. Exhale down, pushing back through all fours in one straight line with the body. Tuck the toes, lift the hips high and move into downward dog. Walk your hands back towards the feet. Inhale, half lift again. Exhale down. As you inhale, we reach high and exhale back down again. Half lift. Hands can come to the tips of the fingers. Walk the hands back out. Establish your downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg, step forward between the hands, placing the left hand firmly and squarely down, rotating to the right, lifting the right hand up to the sky, energy through the fingertips, anchoring down through the back foot, and pressing away from the floor with the left hand. Frame the foot, rise up through crescent lunge, Opening to warrior two, looking along that front hand, reverse your warrior, frame the front foot, rotate on the back, toes, stepping back to plank. Chaturanga with knees on or off the floor. To up dog and back to downward dog. Hands walk back to feet. Inhale, rise flat back. Exhale down. Reverse dive up, reaching again strongly up through the hands. Down you go again. Inhale flat back. And exhale down. Walking the hands out. To downward dog. Inhale, lift left leg on your next inhale, stepping forward between the hands, establish that contact with the right hand, twist open to the left, gazing up at the top hand, breathing here and noticing the effect of the twist, keeping the legs strong, hands come to the front, rising up and into your warrior two. Reach forward, reverse your warrior. Hand lightly touches the back leg. Hands frame the front foot, stepping back to a strong plank, lowering down halfway in one straight line to up dog and meet you in downward dog. Optional balasana here, 
Knees go wide, toes to touch, or you can remain strengthened in downward dog, working on your shoulder strength. Reaching the hands forward if you're in Balasana. Energy through the fingertips, forearms lifted, and reconnecting with your breath. Moving back through downward dog, walk the hands back to the feet, half lift. Reverse dive. And let's go again and add on. Exhale down. And walk the hands out to downward dog. On your next inhale, heel to sky, knee high and step between the hands. Touch the floor, coming up to prayer position with the hands, stabilizing yourself, engaging the core, rotating first to the right and then placing your left elbow on your right knee. Over to the thigh, twisting with every exhale, perhaps a little more. Connecting with the breath, back to center, up you go into warrior two, anchoring down through the feet, reverse your warrior, Reach forward into side angle pose. Open the arms up as you breathe. Circle the arm around. Try not to slump into the right thigh. Pulling up through the hand. Open out to encourage that shoulder to open. Let's take a half bind here. Top hand reaches around to the crease between the top of your thigh and your hip. If you're feeling balanced, take your gaze up to the sky. Hand presses in on the inside of your shin and open up back to warrior two. Circle the hands, frame the foot and step back into plank. Take your right hand to the center of the mat, Vasistasana, side plank. Top hand reaches high, hips stay high. Option to take left heel to right inner thigh. As you return to plank, keep the left leg high and press it up to three-legged dog. And dive forward. Thighs are off the floor in your up dog. Roll through the feet back to downward dog. Walking the hands back. Inhale, half lift. Rise up. And let's dive straight back down to the other side. Half lift. Walking forward. Establish your downward dog and on your next inhale, raising the left leg to the sky. High knee, step forward between the hands. Back to prayer position. You're turning to the left, rotating from the waist first. Right hand to outside of left knee, an option to open up the hands if you like, only if your shoulders are open and you can remain with a nice feeling of breadth between the shoulders. Hands press into the center of the chest and rotate back to center and open up into warrior two. Sink low, reach forward, reverse your warrior, light touch to the back thigh, Hand circle and up we go, right hand, inhale, lift. Encouraging that top shoulder to open up and press back. Don't sink into that left thigh. Optional half bind or remain in your side angle. Hand extends down to the foot. Coming up to warrior two, rotate on the back ball of the foot, reach high in crescent lunge and frame the foot. Plank, establish contact with the left hand in the center of the mat, turning onto the outer edge of the left foot, hand reaches high, optional foot to inner thigh. Face your mat, keep your knee high and press back to three-legged dog if you're taking this option. 
diving forward, up dog, and back to downward dog. Having a few breaths here, if you didn't take the other rest, I encourage you to come down into Balasana for five breaths here. Forward to floor, feel, feel contact with the floor, energy through the hands and sink the hips right back. From Balasana, going through downward dog, hands return back for a half lift. Rise, inhale, you've got one more flow, well done, keep going, exhale down to floor. Half lift. Hands walking out to downward dog. Establish that first. On your next inhale, lift the right heel to the sky. Step forwards between the hands. Pulling up through the belly and core. Twisting right. Then you move into your side twist. Opening up the hands if you're feeling breadth between the shoulders and open up to warrior two. Feeling strength through the feet, contact with the feet. Reverse your warrior, reaching forward. Into side angle pose. Circle around with the hands if you need to open up through the shoulders or move into your bind. Only moving into a full bind if you can remain open and wide through the shoulders. Back through side angle. Straightening the front knee, hips move back, triangle pose. Energy line right through from the lower fingertips up through the top. Turn to face the leg and move into pyramid pose. You can shorten your stance to make it easier. Reconnecting with the breath, softening down with every exhale. Using blocks under the hands if you need extra support. Taking your time here. Bending forwards, moving forward into standing splits. Left leg raises to the sky. If you can connect your head with your right shin, Give it a go. From standing splits, bend the front knee and lower the leg slowly to the floor into a low lunge. Picking up your right leg, take the knee behind, moving into flash dance or stargazer. Lifting the hips high, energy through the hands. Returning now to fallen triangle. Step your foot out nice and long and reach open through the hips and the arms. Connecting with the breath again, lifting that knee high, not dragging it, and pressing back to three-legged dog and taking your flow. I'll see you back in downward dog. Flatten the back, walk the hands back towards the feet, tabletop. And inhale, rise and repeat on the other side. Exhale down. Inhale to rise. And soften. Hands walking forward to downward dog. And on your next inhale, left leg reaches high. Knee stays high and steps right forward between the hands as you move into your lunge with prayer hands. Twisting to the left. Hooking your right elbow outside your left knee. Option to open up the hands. Returning back to prayer. Up through crescent lunge, opening to warrior two. Reach forward and reverse your warrior. Light touch back leg. Moving forwards into side angle pose. Taking your option here of a half bind or a full bind. 
chest facing the back wall, keeping the right shoulder pressed back, a strong pose. Back through side angle, straightening the front knee, moving into triangle pose or trikonasana. Hand sits on the inside of the left shin, energy through the hands, and then frame the front foot and straighten the front knee into pyramid pose. Again, shortening the back leg in if you need to. Press forward. Lifting the back leg to standing splits. Right heel high to sky, straightening the back leg and gently bending and placing the foot down behind. Take your left knee, take it behind your right leg into stargazer, reaching energy through the left hand. Hips high. Knee stays high and rotates to the other side, stepping out to your fallen triangle. Pressing away from the floor through the left hand and gazing to the top hand. Keep the knee high and press back to three-legged dog. Coming forward in your flow and rotating over the toes back to downward dog. Walk the hands in. Inhale, half lift. and roll up gently through the spine, softening the knees, allowing the head to come up last. Let's roll the shoulders back. Nice big inhale and exhale to let the shoulders roll back and down. Inhale, lift hands to sky, bow forward, soften knees. Inhale, half lift. Walking hands back out along the mat to downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg, step forward right between the hands, lower the back knee and untuck the back foot. When you've made contact with the floor, see if you can reach for that back foot. Pressing the toes into the hand for a quad stretch and then gently let it go. Taking the hips back, straightening through the front knee into half Hanuman. If you can, you can keep that front leg straight and take your weight forward into full splits or please remain breathing consciously in your half Hanuman. If you're in full splits, pull that right hip back into the socket and come back to half Hanuman now. Weight moves forward to the front leg, tuck the toes, pressing up to your lunge and back to three-legged dog. Other side, inhale, lift the left leg. Weight comes forward with a high knee, drop your right knee. Untuck the toes and reach around for the back leg. Toes press into the hands, feeling a nice stretch down the front of your right thigh. Gently returning the foot to the mat, stretching through the front leg back to half Hanuman. Hands press firmly into the mat. Hips are high and pressing forward into full splits if that's in your practice. Otherwise, you're in half Hanuman. Breathing consciously. Returning back to half Hanuman from your full splits. Left hip pulled back so the hips are square. Weight into the front foot, tuck the toes and press back to three-legged dog. Placing the leg down into downward dog. Look forward between the hands, rise up on the toes and at the end of your exhale, leap forward slowly and gently between the hands. Half lift here. and roll up through the spine. Rolling the shoulders back and again. And moving to the center of the mat and facing the front. 
taking our weight onto the left leg, coming into tree pose, right heel to the inner thigh, pressing into your left inner thigh. I want you to imagine a straight line and a root system running from the top of your head right down and into the ground. Hands are at prayer position or you can open up your branches, maybe even sway, test your balance. You can gaze upwards and perhaps even try closing down the eyes, always remembering that connection with the earth and returning your leg down through center, moving to the other side, bearing down through the right foot. Help your foot into position on the inner thigh and have that foot press into your right inner thigh. Hands to prayer, raising the hands and growing your branches. Establishing connection with the earth down through the leg, through the heel and growing taller through the crown of the head. Perhaps lifting your gaze couple of wobbles to be expected and returning hands high knee and back to center give it a shake taking out any extra tension and moving to the side of your mat let's lie down onto our backs make sure your block is nearby and you can reach it you're going to place your block between your inner thighs feet are hip width apart make sure your fingertips can graze your heels and you're going to roll up through the lower spine into a bridge pose. Hips stay high. You can cross your hands underneath, walking the shoulders in and underneath you as an option. Otherwise, just pressing down through the palms into the floor. Chest is high and wide and open. Hips remain high and then roll back down. This time, again, establishing our position, taking our rise with the hips, Moving up onto our tippy toes, onto the ball of the feet and reaching underneath and walking the shoulders and the hands underneath, pinky fingers pressing into the mat. As you lower the heels, try and keep your hips as high as they were when you were on the balls of your feet. Squeezing with the inner thighs, squeezing the block, trying to unclench the buttocks muscles and just using the inner thighs and the back to hold you up. Walking the hands and the arms out from underneath you, remove the block. Give your knees a nice hug, squeeze, maybe rotate three times one way, back the other way, massaging the lower back into the floor, should feel lovely at this point. Opening the hands to T-shape taking the knees over to the right hand side looking along the left arm if it's comfortable with your neck reconnecting with your breath softening the shoulders into the floor an option here for a single leg twist holding the left knee with the right hand and the right leg is extended and take the knee across the body it's just a more intense stretch Again, looking along your left arm, energy right through the fingertips. Returning knees back to center and taking them over to the other side, looking along the right arm. Taking your option, calming the breath, calming the mind, noticing the effects in the body of the twist. If you're taking the right knee across the chest, you still look along the right arm, noticing your body pressing into the floor, energy through that extended left leg. Everybody returning to center, perhaps take a happy baby pose. Knees move into the armpits, at least as far into the arms as the triceps. I'd like you to try and 
Press your tailbone down into the floor so the back remains long. Perhaps taking a couple of rocks, happy baby feels like such a joyous pose. Hug the knees into chest. Any last movements before you move into Shavasana. Open the body up. Take as much real estate as you need. Hands move away from the body. Palms are up and open and facing the ceiling. Rolling the feet out to the side and just relaxing the body. Assimilating all the movements into the muscles. Stay here for as little or as long as you need. Namaste.